What's up YouTube? Welcome back everybody to my channel. My name is Herman Hesse and today we're gonna talk about a few things that are quite helpful to get signed to a record label. Alright guys, before we start off with the video, I just want to mention that I just released my new EP, it's called Code VEP, and it's now online on every single streaming platform, so you can choose the one that you like and uh, stream the whole EP as much as you want. Thanks for your support, and with this said, let's get down to business. So, alright guys, before I give away my three best tips how to get signed to a label, let's talk about the real fundamental things. Okay, so let's start talking about, you know, your track because you are gonna send out your track to the label. So this is the first thing you have to think about. Is your track ready? Is it ready to be released? Is it properly mixed down and is it properly mastered? If you are sending the demo to a smaller label, usually it is okay if you just send it out only mixed with a headroom of let's say minus 3 dB to minus 6 dB. That's totally fine for the most labels and then they will take care about the mastering. But if you're releasing on a big label, usually it is better to get your songs mastered first. If the label won't like the mastering, they will tell you and then say, okay, this track is maybe good, but we don't like the mastering, how it's made, so we will take care of it and then we'll come back to you. And that's totally cool. Now the main reason why you should always send a mastered track to a big label is that usually big labels are run by big DJs. So uh, just to name a few, Drum Code by Adam Bayer, Renaissance is run by Balthazar and Jack Rock, you have IMT and Codex run by Spartak itself and the list goes on. There are lots and lots of labels that are run by DJs, not everyone, but there are lots. So if you're thinking about sending your demo to a big label, make sure that it's mastered because the, these DJs then will test out the tracks on the road while they're DJing, while they're playing out on festivals and clubs. Now the next thing you have to think about is the email address or the contact of this label. So if you have already a friend, who knows a friend, who knows a friend maybe, who runs a label, why don't ask them? If you know somebody inside the scene, maybe you have get to know somebody in the club, Maybe you've seen someone on Facebook. Just write them, ask them, hey, do you know something about this label? How can I get the email of the A and R? These are usually the people who will take care of the demos of the label. And if you still don't know somebody or if you're aiming for a really special label and you're not finding something, then I can show you something. There is a pretty helpful site called labelspace.net. Yeah, let's go check the site out. Perfect. Now here we are, I'll just show you quick this side how it works. So on the top you have a search button, explore, genres, blah blah blah, all the stuff you need. And in this type of thing we're gonna search obviously for techno. And you got it, you got a bunch of labels. So the sort is set to default sort, but we can go from oldest to youngest, youngest to oldest, release date. SoundCloud followers, then maybe choose to, I don't know, set the demo to drum code. This is really tough nowadays, but you can try it at me. Um, here, when you click then on the label, you have all the details about this label. The one thing we're here for is this. Is, okay, let's try this again. It's, oh my God, is this bad boy, all right? You want to search for Demo email to A and R. A and R, as we know, on the request is the person who's gonna reply to all demo stuff related for the label. So you're gonna pick this one, copy and paste it up onto your email address, write your email, and then send it to the label. And fingers crossed, hopefully you get signed then. Another thing on the side here, if they don't reply you like in one day, in one week, in one month, don't uh, take this serious most of the labels won't reply either. So if you get a reply, that's a really, really good sign. Um, there are also some labels 
will tell you maybe then if they decline they will tell you hey listen the tracks are good the quality is okay the quality is perfect or i don't know what they're gonna say but maybe we don't like the style maybe we don't, don't like this try again later this is a really good sign if they come back to this this means that you can send them later do your best to fit the style to the label and come back later to them they will sign you i promise okay so the next point about getting signed to a label which is really crucial is to choose the right label i can't stress this out enough you don't want your tech house track sent as a demo to drum code what? so make sure to choose the right label and to send them the music only if your style fits to the label another thing that you can do obviously is produce a style that you know that will fit to the label so that you can get onto this this is pretty common under producers so if you know that a label maybe likes i don't know more uh, melodic or more a deep vibe make some deep tracks send up to them the chance that they will pick it up is much higher as by doing i don't know a happy track and send it to a label that you know that they are more likely to release something moody the last point of the fundamentals now is obviously to understand how a label works this led us to the three tips I'm going to give away to you, which are all kind of buried up with understanding how a label works. Okay, so you have to show the label that you are indeed an artist that want to make it, that is trustworthy. You have to build a relationship with the label. You have to show them, okay, I'm a serious artist, I'm caring about promotion, I'm caring about social media, all the stuff I'm caring about, a good presence, I mean with bio, good photos, everything with quality. You have to look about quality, not quantity, but quality, all right? Also, the labels will put a lot of trust in you by, by using a lot of money for your release. So you have to convince them that you are indeed worth of being on the label so that they can put money into your release and by putting money in it i mean mastering costs i mean costs for a cover for the release other graphics designs i don't know videos maybe to promote the release um, all the promotion costs via facebook ads instagram ads instagram stories maybe paying a site that has a huge uh, fan base to display the release etc 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 also maybe some premieres that cost a lot of money. So there are plenty of ways how to promote a song, but promoting will be the majority of the cost. So as I said, you have to convince them to use it because if you're a small artist, the chances that selling your track to get back this, to get this money back in are pretty low. And this leads us to the next point of understanding the label they want to you know they want you to grow with the label so that they can make obviously a profit then out of you i mean there's nothing wrong with it they have to make profit i mean if they don't make profit in one day or another they aren't able to run the label so this doesn't mean it is a bad thing as you grow think about it think about the labels they gave you a chance to release on them and show them love and respect and as you get bigger come back to them and release with them to give them something back this is really crucial by building you know this relationship uh, with the label so i think that now we have all this fundamental stuff that you now know we can go now on to the three basic tips of how to write an email for a label so tip number one is the amount of words to write or let's say the amount in general of things to write inside this mail they don't have the time to read every day books and books and stories so the amount shouldn't be I say not under 50 characters and could be up to all oh, let's say 300 400 500 characters so a medium medium short email quick with all the facts all the really important information should be in there not just a, 
uh, mail with hey that's my new track and a link and buy or even worse just a link those email usually never never will be answered by any label no one will ever do that so think about that it shouldn't be too short but it shouldn't be too long either remember what i said earlier they don't have the time to read all this stuff because they're really busy they don't want to read how many dogs you have or why you're releasing this track these are not information that is important for the release so think about that this leads us to tip number two tip number two is what actually to write inside this mail and especially for this i prepared you something um i'm gonna show to you an old email which was my first release on a bigger techno label all right let's hop into the mail so all right we are inside my mail that I wrote back in 2019, I think, yeah, like one half a year ago. And this is how I made it. First of all, I choose the right label. So I knew Renaissance, I knew the tracks would possibly fit there. And then I just thought, okay, I try to understand the label and I try to implement all the things, all the fundamentals that I told you in this mail. So tip number one is not to write too much and not to write too little. They don't have the time to read a whole book, right? But they want to get to know you. So this is how I made it. I'll, let's say we can separate this mail in three parts. That's the intro, okay, here. This is the main part, okay. And this is the outro. So for the intro, this is where you want to keep things interesting, but not too long. They want to get to know you, so just basic information, who you are, where you're from, all this type of stuff. So think about, you never type with them, so you don't know the name of the A&R. So I thought, okay, why don't let's go with Balthazar and Jack Rob, because the label is Renaissance. and usually maybe the email lands to them then obviously i wrote my name where i'm from what i'm doing all this type of stuff and the most important thing is how i became aware of their label and why i think this is a cool label why i enjoy them all this stuff and also here i try to keep it short not to be exaggerating with words and so this was what i wrote which leads us then to tip number two and this is to be honest if you're not being honest with a label this will spread the world and the others will get to know it so be always humble be always kind don't talk bullshit be straight and stay word okay do these things work hard for your music and you will see everything will go the right path okay also really important to you know, build up the trust of label, as I already mentioned back in the fundamentals, um, the label have to see that you're a really an artist who's trying to make it. You know, they have to trust you because they will display your name out on their label. So this is where the social media links are really important and really useful. Okay, because they will show to the label that you are an artist who's trying to make it. Who's making music on a constant basis who is promoting his stuff who is really working his ass off because they will put money to you they have to see okay we can trust this guy okay this is important you can basically put everything underneath it but as i already said in tip number one don't overdo it keep things close not too much it's basically simple go the golden middle way okay it's like with everything in life so and now we're coming to tip number three, which is obviously how to get your music displayed. As you already seen it here, there's a private, private, okay, really important private SoundCloud link. And to say that it's not important that you're using SoundCloud. The thing that is really important is that you're not attaching the tracks to the mail itself, like you would do with a PDF or a Word document or I don't know, a photo. Don't do this, because the file will get too big, the labels don't want to download it, they want to see it, you know, they want to listen to it, stream it, 
and if they like it then they want to download it so choose a platform that is working for you you can choose maybe dropbox you can choose google drive or you can choose soundcloud and now i'm going to tell you why soundcloud is the best option obviously it is downloadable you can do a private link which i have uh, you know blacked out here you can send them this private playlist with different tracks they can skip through it and if they like it they can download it and the last point why you should choose soundcloud is that you can see who listened to your track okay you see the city the name the date and how often this person played your track so if you see that your track was downloaded and that it was played like a few times not only one times but a few times that is a possible sign that the a and r or the person i don't know the dj who downloaded it and if this happens if you see like more than one play and the download this is a really good sign so you know okay they will come back to you and they will talk to you usually okay not every time there are always exceptions okay that's just how the world roots but if this happens you're on a good side and this is a really handy tool to see if you should move on to the next label because if you don't hear from a label like within a few months usually you can say okay let's move on to the next label but if you see there are some plays and this tracks were downloaded then wait a little more there are some labels that usually take up to one year to even respond yeah i know this is a lot of time you, you have to wait one full year before you get even uh, an answer if you even get an answer so Take your time, guys. Take your time, okay? So, with that said, using always a link and not a file attachment directly, we're pretty much done with it. Okay, guys, I think that's enough for now. Think about the three tips I gave you and think about the fundamentals. And if your music is good, then too, you're pretty good to go. I wish you all the best. Uh, wish you good luck with the labels and to get signed on a big one. Trust me, it's a really, really amazing feeling seeing that someone believes in your music and wants to work with you. And it usually pushes me to the next level to, you know, get even more music done, work even harder to get a better sound and all this kind of stuff. So I wish it to all of you guys. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So, all right, enough for talking today. Uh, thank you very much for watching till the end. Um, if you liked the video, if you thought it's very useful for you, um, if maybe it helped you uh, to get signed your first record label deal or maybe the next one, um, let me know down in the comments. Thank you very much for tuning in. See you next week soon. And uh, yeah, stay tuned, stay groovy, stay techno.